Once a month, I meet with a group of professionals and we pose a question that has something to do with business or finance or planning uh, or, or whatever hap whatever's happening in the world today. Our last lunch, we talked about goal setting. And as we got into the conversation, we realized not all of us shared a definition of what a goal was or even what a mission or a purpose or an objective or an aim or a target. All these words might mean something different to each person or organization you go into. I have the opportunity to go and work with groups and organizations and businesses on strategic planning, development planning, project planning. And what I realized is one of the first things that I need to do is make sure that we have shared definitions. So I want to go through some of these keywords and what, uh, what some people define them as and then kind of how I use them. So let's first look at the concept of purpose. So for a lot of organizations, purpose can be uh, what you want to achieve when, when you do something. The, the reason you do it or the plan, uh, the thing that you want to achieve. Now, according to Oxford, uh, purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for, for which something exists. When I use the word purpose, to me, this is like the highest statement. Uh, if you're with Simon Sinek and you want to talk with Start With Why, this is your reason or your why for what you are doing or even why you exist. And so when we talk about what your purpose is, it's your, your meaning for existence. So another uh, concept that oftentimes people uh, will have debates about what meaning is, is mission. What is a mission? Uh, usually mission is associated, a lot of the times mission can be associated with religious groups going on a mission or your mission in life. Uh, it's also associated with military planning. You talk about your mission first. Uh, for Oxford, it's a strongly felt aim, ambition, or calling. Excuse me, that's in a thesaurus. A mission in Oxford Dictionary is a specific task with which uh, a person, group, or organization is charged. Now, I tend to lean along that, uh, the second definition of that specific task, um, this, the charge that a group has. What is your mission? And where purpose is your reason for being, your mission is what you're trying to accomplish. You're going someplace to do something. So that's how I talk about mission. Now, I also like to talk about, actually, this is what I don't like to talk about, and that's aim. Uh, there are some organizations that have an aim uh, in their planning process. It's, uh, they'll use it as something you hope to achieve by doing something, a point uh, to direct at a, a target. Uh, Oxford goes with, it's a point or direct, to, to point or direct at a, car, at a target, have an intention of it achieving. For me, aim is it's it's just kind of a, a less use a less useful uh, mission or uh, purpose. So while uh, aim isn't a word I use very often, I do think it's really important that we talk about goals and uh, having a shared definition of what we mean by a goal is really important, and that we get more specific about our meanings. Are we talking about a goal, a target, an objective, an outcome? All those things can kind of be mixed up. So when some people talk about a goal, it's just something important that we hope to achieve in the future. Uh, for others, like Oxford defines a goal as a destination of a journey, a point marking the end of a race, the object of a person's ambition or effort. For me, when I talk about goals and goal setting, it's really a success statement. Do you have a clear picture of what it looks like when you're successful? You have your, your purpose. Your mission is what you're going to be doing. A goal is a clear statement of success. Even if it's a long time in the future, we have a clear picture of what it looks like when we're done, when, uh, when we've reached and we've achieved our mission. Another concept that oftentimes gets batted around is a target. So targets are things that uh, for some people it's an objective or result towards which efforts are directed. Uh, for Oxford, 
an objective uh, or result towards which efforts are directed, a person, object, or place selected as the aim of an attack. So when we talk about target, for me, when we talk about targeting something, we want to cl- we want to paint as crystal clear uh, bullseye as possible. The more specifically we define our target, it's the exact result we're looking for. Uh, the more specific we make that, and this is why targeting is so important, it's not the, that we hit it the first time out. If you have a clear target, the exact result, you know how you miss so that you can continue to progress. And this is where a miss is a learning opportunity. And so all of, all of a sudden, failure when you miss your target is not fatal. It tells you how to adjust your shot. So for me, the target is that exact result that you're painting out in the future. Now, uh, the next term, again, these ones are all getting, uh, uh, they get mixed up. And this is how I work with the concept of objective. And I, an objective usually is, Again, uh, target and objective, I don't use them. I usually don't use them both in a conversation. I'll use one or the other and figure out what the organization wants to talk about. But, uh, you know, the objective is that that thing you're trying to achieve, uh, a thing aimed at or a sought out goal. The way that I define an objective when I use it is very similar to the way I use target. And that's the, uh, the specific thing that you're trying to achieve. And both with target and objective, you want to spell it out with specific numbers. Uh, You want to have the data that you're trying to get to. And that's how specific you want to be. There's some people who are afraid of painting specific targets or making specific objective statements or outcome statements because they're afraid they're not going to reach them. But that is part of the point. Continuous improvement requires that you make these specific objective and target statements. So those are some of the terms to get uh, get straight. Now I want to share kind of what I call the hierarchy of how these things move up and down because some things are above others. For me, it starts off with purpose. Why do you exist? Because if your mission doesn't match your purpose, then that mission should probably go elsewhere or you should seek another uh, another uh, purpose. Um, so purpose and mission are really high level about what you're about and what you're trying to do uh, in the big picture. To me, it goes then to this goal of this specific success. What does it look like when the mission is complete? What is the new conditions that we've created because we've done our mission? And you create, you paint the specific picture. And then target and objective, again, I use interchangeably, but this is specific measures, specific data that you use to define that success statement. And you could also create a successive targets or objectives like waypoints. Now, I also use when I'm working with groups, sometimes I'll use an exercise that uses a slightly different hierarchy and it involves a couple of different terms that we didn't cover. But it's, this is called the post or most approach to strategic planning. And the top level is your purpose or mission, depending on what language the group used. I'll use their language. Uh, Next comes the objective. And within the objective, you create a goal and you create a target. Those are specific numbers from where you are to what you want to, where you want to reach that are how you define that objective. Give some narrative around what the objective is. Then you put the numbers of what success looks like with a goal and target. Next, once you set your objective, you create a strategy, high level approach to how you're going to reach that objective. And then specific tactics are the assignments and behaviors that you're going to use to implement that strategy to reach the objective to fulfill your purpose and mission. So those are the key words as I see it. Uh, that we need to get straight when we start to do any kind of planning, development planning, strategic planning, uh, uh, project planning. And if you can sit down and uh, come to agreement about how you're going to use these terms, all of a sudden the planning uh, becomes much more effective and useful. <laughs>